One, two, three, and action. É a história de um casal, que, uma, uma, uma brasileira e um norte-americano, que estão, vamos dizer, disputando é, a posse de um bed and breakfast, é, cada um com a sua razão, né? She comes to America to get the property back from this guy. They immediately, you know, fight like cats and dogs, and of course, at the same time, there's an attraction between them. I did. Squatter's right, baby. Ela trabalha numa loja de departamentos e de repente é, se vê encrencada em vários aspectos da vida dela. Jake, Jake Sullivan is the character I'm playing. He is a hardworking guy, very simple, um, just a good guy. Ela vem tomar essa casa do Jake, mas ao mesmo tempo fica sentindo, putz. Eu não queria fazer isso com cara. You could teach this in writing class with this script. It's a classic romantic comedy. It has all the elements. It's absolutely charming. It just sucks you in from the beginning. Bill Engvall, you will not be in the shot. No! When I got the part, you know, I told my wife, I go, I'm working with Superman. <laughs> Jake! Pete is a, uh, the brother of Jake. And Pete's kind of the, he wants Jake to get back in the game. He's, Jake was in love with this girl who just wasn't good for him. And uh, so Pete's kind of helping him out. I didn't know you were such a dynamic woman. Please, I am not that easily charmed. Maria comes in uh, to sort of lighten the mood. She's definitely the comedy relief here. Action. Hey, what's where you're driving? Watch where you're walking. A lot of uh, one-liners and uh, reactions. Hot Spitfire tells it like it is Latina. Tienes esos de gallito. My pinche mariflor. La tuya. Sorry, man. Victor is fun. Victor is uh, this intriguing mix. Uh, he is an English lawyer. Uh, practicing international law who lives in Brazil and is the best friend of the character Anna. We come from Japan. <laughs> oh, that's great. Media came up with an idea that we're two corporate workers and this is our funky side and this is when we come to the bed and breakfast we get to exercise all of our craziness. They rarely get the chance to sort of just unwind and let loose and be crazy so we came up with this idea that they're you know on a huge honeymoon out of their country and they're just gonna misbehave. <laughs> This place isn't even finished yet. It's not unfinished, it's rusted. Actually, it is unfinished. We don't open for another week and a half, I'm sorry. I start off with a feeling of uh, my irritation that this place isn't even ready to stay in yet, you know? And uh, she, kinds of she kind of finds it romantic. I'm kind of a busybody, so I start helping him fix it up. And I have a little crush on him. I get quite giggly whenever he's around. If you've seen Dean, Dean Kane, it's understandable that she would develop a little crush on him. I'm ready for you, sir. Okay. Got to run two miles from the trailer. It's tough, man. A hotel or a bed and breakfast has to have guests, so I knew there were going to be guests there. And a small town has to have some colorful locals. And as I wrote them, I wanted to, I, I was very certain to make, I really wanted them to each have their own very individual character. And I wanted them each to have their own story. There's several pairings here. There's couples or, you know, just about everybody in the movie has some kind of romantic interest. Sometimes the romantic interest is not who they end up with. But at the end of the story, almost everybody has hooked up with somebody. I wish you were more of a bastard. Yeah, it would be a lot easier for me if I, if I hated you. Muitas vezes eu vejo atrizes com as minhas características físicas fazendo papéis latinos, mas não exatamente são papéis de mulheres brasileiras. Então é muito bom poder fazer mesmo uma brasileira. Juliana, uh, 
to have to work with her is so difficult. It's so tough. I have to do it. She is incredibly beautiful, incredibly talented, and incredibly nice. Um, you work long hours on a film set, and she has been nothing but uh, an absolute trooper. She is uh, so without ego. I uh, love her as a co-star. One of the important things is in acting is no matter you know where you come from or who you are, you know it's important to find the chemistry and the dynamic between the characters. So you know I think that we have found um, um, a, a shorthand way of uh, communicating to each other, so that we have a, a unique energy that is unique to Anna and Victor. Mm, not bad. Can't do well, I am a. Action. Marcio Garcia. Oh, again, another very unattractive Brazilian person. What's the deal over there? Uh, Marcio is extremely cool. He's a very good guy. He's very specific as a director. He knows the things he wants, the looks he wants, and uh, the pieces that he wants. Being an actor and working with actors, I think, is, is very important. So it's, it's made it. It's made it very fun for us because he gets excited for it. Yes, perfect, good. That's his favorite word. If it's good, perfect. Cut, perfect. Okay. He's been a real pleasure to work with, and that's an honest, truthful thing. Yeah. Uh, he works very much from an actor's perspective, and you know he doesn't give you a lot of notes, but when he does, you know it's always point on. It's something right. that you know he, you know he wants in it, and you know it's delivered very simply, which actors like. Yeah. You know the hardest part is having to work with a director who gives you complicated notes. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't yeah. over direct. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't over. He's very good about yeah. letting you play. Right. You know, because he knows he's an actor. Sometimes directors who've never been actors don't quite understand why you're doing what you're doing. Doing, but a director that's been an actor gets it, and it and will allow you that freedom to kind of explore your character. Então é importante você ter vivido do outro lado. Primeiro para você, eu acho que o ator que o diretor que atuou ele teve experiência com outros diretores. Então ele tem outros referenciais. Quem conta a história não é o diretor, é o ator. Então isso ajuda a a fazer a história andar e é claro a relação entre eles que é super importante é você fazer com que os atores contem a história muito bem pelo seu ponto de vista mas o verbo sai da boca deles então eles têm que estar afinados e motivados para fazer o que você quer Rodrigo sempre foi um cara muito brincalhão e sempre teve esse personagem de imitar o gay, né? Isso era comum na, 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 do dia a dia. Ele falava, ai ah, gente, o que, que é? Eu não tô podendo. Ele sempre teve essa coisa, a coisa que ele rodava a caneta e o bico. E todo mundo acha que eu sou muito sério, né? Na verdade, o Márcio me chamou porque ele me conhece. Então tá aqui o povo que me conhece, né? Já trabalhou comigo, me acompanha na vida. Então é eu venho da comédia, né? então é, poder voltar um pouquinho, poder relaxar, poder fazer uma coisa bacana assim é, é muito bom. É, assim, é, tem uma ação para essa ação, aí começou. Ah, eu acho que é fundamental, né? Na produção dependente, claro, é, quando você não está se cabendo de nenhuma lei de incentivo, né? Enfim, que no Brasil tem muito isso, né? Então esses parceiros são os parceiros que ajudam a pagar o filme. We had to use a lot of creativity to finance the movie. And the way we decided to do it was to use product integration. And we were fortunate to have like three very good partners that helped, that believed in the project and helped us make this film a reality. There's an air conditioner unit there and there was one over there, but just made it look for, for, an, for an ugly picture. So we pulled the air conditioner out. We built a shower in that room in the back. Uh, new, new window, frosted window, so you can't see the actress too much. Foi uma participação rápida para uma ação nossa de um dos patrocinadores do filme e a gente até conseguiu que o Dino fizesse uma brincadeira. Quem é esse Márcio que está hospedado aqui e tal?
Some of the, the magic of making a movie is, is being efficient and being smart and using the right people and using good people and saving time and using special teams in different locations, having the, the actors not sit and wait a lot but change and run quickly to another set. And our location allowed that. That was a location that we had many different uh, ambiances and, and, and environments that we can send them from one place to another. I think the uh, Brazilian cast, since they came from soap operas, were used to a very fast-paced production schedule. And the Americans were surprised how well prepared they were because our production schedule was very tight and everyone worked really well without losing the creativity. Lock it up, please. Roll sound. Rolling, rolling. rolling. Teve um dia que a gente estava um pouco assim na correria por questão de tempo, luz, né, sempre correndo contra o sol. E a gente tinha um set aqui, um set ali. Então a gente tinha duas câmeras. Às vezes os atores estavam terminando uma cena, aqui já estava pronta, eles trocavam de roupa, estava pronto para filmar. Ficávamos eu e o Craig, né, o diretor de fotografia, indo e vindo para ajustar a luz, está pronto, enfim, botando a câmera. The biggest challenge for me in this production, I believe, is continuity and, and keeping that. The house is always evolving and always getting nicer and nicer, and then with the schedule. Um, we had to yeah, do this, do the first scene, do maybe scene 120, where it's really nice, and then in 15 minutes we're doing scene 34, so quickly got to jumble it up and like fly furniture and have everything on standby and make sure everything is here because we could, you know, we'd have to do any scene almost any time. Right up, to your left, down. Down. Anna's wardrobe, she starts off pretty polished and sophisticated, and towards the end of the film, the there's so many florals, there's flowers just amongst us at the bed and breakfast, but then also the interior, you may see that there's so many you know, wallpaper did in trimmings and, and rugs and everything with this floral inspiration, so I kind of transfer that into, you know, it's kind of becoming part of just her character. She's warming up to this kind of rural environment. She's kind of stepped out of the city, and you know, before she wanted nothing to do with living in a place like what? Sun's coming up in the sky. I'm watching the birds passing on by. It makes me wanna cry. It makes me wanna cry. Acho que, acima de tudo, as pessoas gostam de coisas leves. Eu, particularmente, gosto. Eu adoro é, ver um filme e, e ficar leve, ficar feliz. Não importa qual país você está, ou quão velho você é, você entende o que está acontecendo quando há laughter e as pessoas olham para o outro e têm uma conexão. Você certamente entende que isso transcende every language. É a language of love. Quando você combina isso com com o tema amor, é, com coisas que falam ao coração, aí é juntar a fome com a vontade de comer. Então, eu acho que essa, essa, essa mistura é igual nosso arroz e feijão, combina muito bem. Thank <laughs> you.